Detroit, Michigan, a city built on grit and determination, but plagued with a negative stigma. Through its highs and lows though, one thing is certain, its baseball scene is iconic. Passionate fans, moments of triumph, and a nostalgic heartfelt aura stretching beyond generations. MLW looks to honor the past while showcasing the bright present and future of our beloved city. This is the 2023 Historic Detroit Series. Hello everybody and welcome to the heart of the city in Detroit at the Corner Ballpark. I'm Kyle Schultz, this is TC3, ready to give you a great matchup between the Eastern Eagles and the Downtown Diamondbacks. And while that's a great matchup, this atmosphere and venue might be even better. That's right. Thank you so much to all the fans who are gathered here today for this one-of-a-kind series. It means a lot to us as kids who grew up coming to Detroit to see our favorite athletes play, and now being on the other side of it is pretty special for a lot of our guys. So for this series, the Detroit series as we've coined it, we are playing games one and two here at the Corner Ballpark, home of Detroit Pal, an organization that's dedicated to helping build the youth of Detroit successfully both on and off the field. And then game three, the series finale, we played at Wayne State University at Harwell Field. And looking at the squads, first the downtown Diamondbacks, they of course had a very very successful first series. Trey Flood, the surprise in that one, gaining his first two MLW career wins on the mound, so very bright spot for them. Also guys, Jacob Pishka, the rookie, is here today for the Diamondbacks. Very excited to see him play and kind of get incorporated into that roster, so Jimmy's at the helm, of course. Jonah Heath is here, Shima's here, and uh, these Diamondbacks, they're rolling, and they're looking to keep it going here at Detroit Pals, the corner ballpark. Mm -hmm. And the Eagles, on the other hand, had a bit of a disappointing start to their seasons. Didn't quite look like themselves out there. Daniel and Dallas both really struggled on the mound. At the plate as well, they lacked power as a squad. I think only one home run in the day was from Zach Whalen, their three hitter. So a lot to improve on for them, but their whole squad is still active today besides Landon Urgaitis, who is still dealing with that foot injury. So they've got Allen, Schultz, Carson Urgaitis, Walker, and Whalen looking to get this squad back to 500 on the year. And looking real quick here at the all-time series history, it's a very interesting one, and it's one that's kind of a tale of two parts. The very first half of this all-time series, the Eagles dominated, and as of late, the downtown Diamondbacks have taken charge. Uh, highlighted by last year's postseason in the NLDS, where they were down 1-0 in that series, and they stormed back to not only win that series, but of course, the World Series later in that postseason. So it's a team that's seeing the Eagles really well right now, and I'm sure the Eagles are gonna be playing with a lot of revenge on their minds today. Mm -hmm, for sure. And fans, thank you so much for all your support this season so far. Keep dropping your likes and comments on all the videos, and you want to show even more support, head over to MLWmerch.com, get yourself a jersey, a player hat, a strike zone, and more. And time now for player interviews. All right, Dan, I just want to know what it means for you to be in this series right here in the heart of the city in Detroit, a city we know and love. Yeah, you know, Kyle, I love the Tigers, so I'm just ecstatic to be here. For the actual gameplay, we just got to throw strikes, do our thing at the plate, and we'll be all right. Good luck today. <laughs> All right, Norp, a city that you also know and love very much. And what can you say to the crowd here as well as what this means for MLW as a whole? Yeah, to all the fans who showed out here today, thank you guys so much for coming. I mean, the atmosphere is already electric and we haven't even started playing yet. So I've been, I, this day's been on my calendar since Kyle told me I was playing. So I'm super excited to get going. Detroit series, here we go. Jimmy Norp to lead off for the downtown Diamondbacks. Dallas Allen on the mound for the Eastern Eagles. Here's Norp with two strikes on him in the D. Got him, strike three. Dallas Allen with a dirty drop ball, one away from the first. <laughs> Got him, strike three looking. Dallas Allen retires the first two hitters. And now it is Jacob Pishka. What a, what a weird and unique debut for Jacob here in Detroit. Fair ball, back to Dallas to flip the first, got him. One, two, three, go the D-backs. Dallas and looking solid there. Swing and a miss at 72, perfect speed from Jimmy North. One down in the bottom of the first. Ball four, Allen works the walk. Up next is Zach Whalen. Outside, ball four, first and second. And just like that, the Eagles have a guy in scoring position for Blade Walker. Fair ball, over the base, he's there! And we're loaded in the first, Blade Walker single. That's gotta feel really good if you're him. Struggled in this first series. And now the Eagles have him loaded for Dan. Swing and a miss on the drop ball. 
two down for Dallas Allen. And the bases remain loaded. Can Jimmy get out of this huge jam and send it to the second scoreless? Waylon at third, Schultz at second. Fair ball, but caught! Jimmy Norb snags it! And he gets out of the inning! Get Norb in Detroit! Of course, Jimmy gets it done. Scoreless after one. Shows it and sits him down. Dirty pitch mallet. Shot to left. Base hit for North. Please stretch it. No, it's a single. Good hit from Jimmy North. Knuckleball. Filthy. Off the pipe. I love when Dallas breaks that out. Now it's Pishka again. Looking for a career moment early in his young career. And he's got it! It's a home run for the rookie in the team! Number 99, Jacob Pishka gets it done! And the Diamondbacks lead it 2-0. A lot of these fans don't even know who this kid is, but they soon will. It's 2-0 D-backs in game one. Fair ball back to Dallas. The flip to first, that's clean. Just the one flaw to Pishka. Allen gets out of it. And we head to the bottom of the second, 2 all ball game. All right, I love this portion of the video. We got Evan, we got Gage. Dizzy bat race, first one to throw a strike at the end of them. Touching the fence, coming back, will win an MLW hat. Here we go. All right, three, two, one, go. And they are off. Evan and Gage getting dizzy in Detroit. It's very neck and neck right now. Gage actually getting a slight lead. I think he's a couple spins ahead of Evan right now. And that's right, Gage is breaking free. The first one to leave the gates. Evan just a little bit behind, maybe a couple spins. <laughs> Don't count him out yet though. Here comes Gage on the back end to the strike zone toss. The first throw, no good. Second one, no good. Off the mark again, here comes Evan behind him. Could this be a comeback story? All these throws are missing right now. Oh, and he got it! Evan wins! What a comeback! That was pretty sweet, I'm not gonna lie. Good job, buddy. <laughs> Gotta love that. As the sun is beginning to set here on the corner ballpark, Norp's got him in a 3-1 count, the pitch. Fair ball back to Jimmy. Sunday hop got him. Nice play from Jimmy to Heath. Swing and a miss on the slider. Gets Walker. That one is in the center field, dents the ball. Save in first base. What is that bad for Dan? And we are gonna make that an MLW pitch by pitch. An absolute dog fight. Dana wins it with the single. Now it's Dallas Allen, tying run. Knuckleball, got him. Cue up the replay. And the Eagles leave a guy on as we head to the third. D-backs looking for some insurance. Knuckleball again. Dallas and Jimmy having some fun with it. Swing and a miss on a ball that missed the zone. Strike three. Outside, ball four to Pishka. 
seen the ball very well in his debut. Strike three looking on the slider. Allen sits down, Shima. Quick frame there, just to walk to Pishka. Last call here for the Eagles. Fair. The flip, got him at first. Jonah to Jimmy. The dynamic duo gets Zach. Oh. Flared back to Jimmy, two away. One out away from a game one victory. Daniel Schultz will be the final task here in the third inning. Go. Ground ball, Go. fair Go. to Jimmy, Go. the throw, got it first. The downtown Diamondbacks win game one. At Detroit Pals, the corner ballpark, 2-0 final score. Jacob Pishka's home run, the difference in this one. What a debut. Each time MLW works with Detroit Pal, we can just feel the positivity in the air. They've got young leaders all over the place striving for greatness and volunteering for special events, like our buddy Titus here. So my favorite part about Detroit Pal would probably be all the events that go on here, not just the Pal official events, like wiffle ball, it's just great to come here and see all the players. When Tiger Stadium was torn down in 2008, the space was left as basically a vacant lot. But as of 2018, the field has been held in great hands. To learn more about Detroit Pal's programming and how they're restoring joy and inspiration to the youth of the city, visit DetroitPal.org today. Game two starts now. Trey Flood on the mound. 2-0 on the year. Come on, Zach. Inside, ball four, leadoff walk for the Eagles. That is what they need. Fair ball to the left side. It is going to be a single, first and second. The first two guys reach here in the first inning of game two. Swing and a miss on some off speed. 12-6 drop ball. Swing and a miss. One, two, three, your guy just goes down. And we've got two away for Zach Whalen, who is in the leadoff spot in this game. Swing and a miss, Trey fights back. Strikes out Whalen. And the Eagles leave two on the base pass. We head to the bottom of the first. Back to Daniel Schultz, the throw to first, got him. Nice play from Dan to Dallas. Defense in this series has been sound. Slider just missed. Tipped into the zone, strike three. Dan sits down Pishka. And now it's Casey Bennett getting his first AB of the day. Outside, wild, very wild versus Casey Bennett is Daniel Schultz. And now it's first and second. And Dan Endham, it's been a long AB. To right field, Allen makes the grab. And Daniel is out of the first. We are scoreless, headed to two. It's okay. Up the middle, and it's going to be a single for Dallas Allen to lead off the second. Swing and a miss. Dan chases the riser out of the zone. One down for Carson Yergaitis. Come on, Carson. 5-0. Go! Ground ball to the left side. Norp, the flip to second, save! Dropped at second. Phenomenal try from Jimmy, but Jonah cannot come up with it. First and second for Whalen. Swing and a miss at 69. Strike three. Swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. Trey Flood looking very poised here at the corner ballpark. We head to the bottom of the second. Scoreless. Swing and a miss on the slider from Daniel Schultz, strike three. Pitch from Dan. 
Slider swing and a miss, strike three. Dan Cruz in here. Two down for Bennett. A lot of deep counts. Yet again to Casey. Riser, fair ball. We got a ground rule. We got a ground rule double to Casey Bennett. Over the base and then out of play. Walked him on four, first and second for Heath. With two away. Dan in some trouble. Ball four, we're loaded. In the second for Pishka. And two outs. Huge spot here. In a scoreless ball game. Pitch from Dan. Outside ball four. One nothing D-backs here in game two. On the Pishka RBI walk. Now the question, can Dan limit the damage? Three and two versus Bennett. Bennett sets. Swing and a miss, he got him a strike. 72 miles per hour, right below the limit. One nothing game. And it's now time for the BL101 trivia question of the day. Let's head down to Tommy Coughlin with that question. All right, thanks Kyle. I'm here with Grayson from Decatur, Michigan. Grayson, in my hand I have a Summer of Stadiums patch, an MLW Voot Grip, and an MLW wristband. And it's yours if you know the answer to this trivia question. Which Detroit Tiger in 2006 hit a walk-off home run to send them to the World Series? Was it Mags? Mags, wow, this guy is a Tigers fan. That's right, we're a Detroit folks and you know it. Congratulations, Grayson. Here's your prize pack. Good job. Thank you. Back to the game. Swing and a miss on a dirty drop ball from Flood. Open up the floodgates, baby. Let's go. That's outside, wasn't that bad for Carson, your guidance. One down for Whalen. Swing and a miss, he got him on strikes. Two down for Allen. Last call for him and the Eastern Eagles. Trey Flood. On the verge of another shutout. I don't know. Swing and a miss. He got him on strike. He tempts him with the riser, and all these Eagles fall victim. The downtown Diamondbacks lead the series 2-0. It was all D-backs. My goodness, guys, the D-backs lead the series 2-0, and I'm gonna go to Pishka first. Such a unique debut for you. What does it mean for you to have that home run and to start your career very successfully? Well, this is an awesome introduction to the league, for sure. I couldn't ask for anything better, and it was super awesome to get that out of the way, and this is a great team, so I'm happy to be here. Love it. Trey, just another win. How, how good are you feeling on the mound right now? Oh, I'm feeling great. Uh, I just want to give a huge thank you to you guys for letting us play here today. I mean, it's an uh, absolutely incredible field. It's just an incredible venue, and I really appreciate it. And we're just mm -hmm. looking to get more wins coming up here. Love it. Shout out to the crowd, too, that came yeah. out, too. Great crowd today. And last but not least, Jimmy Norp. Jimmy, um, just how, how proud are you? Are, are you of the squad? And just for getting the job done, like you always always want to do here. Yeah, super proud. I think a big question mark coming into the year from a lot that we heard from a lot of the fans is do the D-backs have depth? And if you mm -hmm. look at what we're doing, I mean, when I drafted Jake, I was super confident in his bat, and he proved it today. So glad he got that first run out of the way. Like you said, that's a big one. And then Trey Flood, nobody nobody worked harder this offseason than that kid to develop some pitches, and be able to hit that zone consistently. Super proud of him, man. I mean, three starts for us, he's given up one run. It's been crazy. Great team win today. And I said last series we wanted to start off strong, and we've done that so far. So hopefully, to keep going. Love it. Congratulations, D-backs. You guys lead the series 2-0, game three coming up. Yeah, you know, Detroit means a lot to me. I mean, this is my home. There's a buzz back here again. My job is in here next summer. Very friendly, down on the waterfront. Beautiful downtown. A renaissance, you know, kind of a turnaround. Um, going around since when we were growing up is kind of a little bit, a little bit scarier. All right, guys, we are here for game three. It was originally supposed to be Comerica Park, got rescheduled here to Wayne State University, one of the oldest universities in Detroit, founded in 1868. But one of my favorite parts is that this is the original scoreboard from Tiger Stadium. Uh, as you can see, the Detroit lettering is still here. And this field is named after Ernie Harwell, who is a legendary Tigers broadcaster. Well, this is Ernie Harwell saying, so long from the corner of Michigan and Trumbull, Bennett Park, 
Navin Field, Briggs Stadium, and Tiger Stadium will remember. So let's go down to the field now to hear from some of the players before game three. All right, Jonah, you got a 37 foot wall in front of you. Do you think there's any possibility you, anybody on D-backs, or anybody on the Eagles hits one over today? I got full faith in myself. I mean, everybody here, but I, I really don't know if a, a whiff ball can go that far today, or that high, I should say. All right, Dallas, you guys are facing elimination here. This is a cool venue, but are you guys feeling any pressure to win this game and avoid being swept? Yeah, we know as a team that we need this. Not having Carson and Landon here for our support is going to hurt us a little bit, but we're looking to at least get this game to give ourselves a chance at the playoffs and a little bit of a run. Love it. Game three at Harwell Field right now. Eagles going with Daniel Schultz on the mound after Dallas Allen was feeling some tightness in the elbow. Inside, ball four to Jimmy North to lead off game three. Ball four, first and second early on for the D-backs. Outside, we are loaded. Daniel cannot find it in the first. These D-backs are very disciplined hitters. One nothing in the first. Two nothing D-backs. Just low. And he lost him on the full count. It is 4-0 D-backs. Swing and a miss. He got him on strikes. One down. To center field. Off the scoreboard. He will score. Jimmy North RBI single. It is 5-0. Right off of that old Tiger Stadium scoreboard. To center field. Off the scoreboard. Jimmy North getting it done in yet another venue. And that is the mercy for the inning. Control issues and a timely hit from Jimmy North makes it 6 nothing. headed to the bottom of the first. What a pitch off of the corner. Jimmy North strikes out Whalen. That ball is in the left field, Shima under it. He makes the play, two down. Hard hit, back to Norp. Fumbles it a little bit, the flip to first. One, two, three, go the Eagles. Six nothing after one. All downtown in downtown Detroit. Shot in the left field, that ball is dented. Save it first. I love the attempt from Whalen. Mishima beats that out. Just outside, ball four. Ball four. We are loaded and Blade Walker will now be pitching. Blade's got him 0-2 already. Pitch. Oh, Nick it! Strike three off the corner. Blade Walker strikes out Heath. He's been in this league since 2021, but he's never seen the mound until now. Ball four. Makes it seven nothing. Two two count. Ground ball back to play. The flip to first. Got him. Safe at home. Heath will score. It is an RBI ground out. Eight nothing. Bennett with an RBI. Shot up the middle. Heath will score. But out at home is Michael Shima. It is 9-0 as we head to the bottom of the second. Swing and a miss on the slider. Flair, Jimmy. Five up, five down in game three. In the air, North under it, six up, six down. That will end the second. We head to the third in a nine-nothing ball game. But first, Michael Shima is mic'd up. I'm mic'd up, baby. Let's go, baby. Top. Oh. Oh. Hold on, Jim. Jim. 
Yeah, it unclipped. Yeah, it unclipped. Come on, bro. Come on, bro. It unclipped. That man, you already knew he was making that play before he made it. If only Jimmy could uh, make sandwiches as good as he pitches. We might get more business. This man wrapped square wheat bread one time. Customer complained, brought his sandwich back. What's the score? Oh, you know he's got that one as well. Had it, baby. I'm swinging for the fences. What's it all right, Tom? Blade Walker, we'll see if the Eagles can find a diamond in the rough. And right on cue, he hit the shot in the center at Harwell Field. Oh, the nut. What a pitch from Blade Walker, strike three. Outside, ball four. Outside, we're loaded. Inside, another run comes in. There's a nice pitch from Blade. And we've got two down. Swing and a miss. Blade Walker gets Casey. It is 10-0 as we head to the bottom of the third. Last call for the Eastern Eagles. Jimmy Norp, back to the mound. Swing and a miss. He got him on strike. Dan goes down. Now it's Blade Walker. Round ball back to Jimmy. Fumbles in the throw to first. Got him. Two down in the third. Eight up, eight down. The hitter is Zach Whalen. Jimmy North once again on the brink of history, this time at Harwell Field. Ground ball off the turf, save the first. Breaks up the perfect game, oh no. Off the lift, that close to the 11th perfect game in MLW history. Hard hit to the left side. He's safe in second, Whalen's finally going to third and it's first and third for the Eagles. In the third inning, you love to see the fight here. That will do it from Detroit. 10 nothing final score in game three at Harwell Field of Wayne State University. The Diamondbacks sweep the Eagles and improve their record to five and one. Absolute domination in the D. Jimmy Norp. You guys did your thing. I mean, the Eagles obviously were inaccurate on the mound, but you guys took advantage. You hit the ball and you pitched very well as well. So just speak to your team's just pure dominance here in Detroit. Yeah, very happy. I mean, we played well. We wanted to come out early, like I said, and prove that we're still one of the teams to beat, if not the team to beat. And I feel like we've done that so far early on in the year. Super proud of everybody on the team. I mean, our pitching and defense has been great. That's the reason we're winning games. I mean, three shutouts. Shout out Trey in game two. He's been awesome so far this year. Pishka, the rookie, game one. Homer, big homer, so it's been huge. It's been good all around and just got to keep it going, moving on. D-backs are rolling and sit comfortably in first place in the NL side of things with a 5-1 and one record. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Coming up soon on the channel, next week, it's the Philly series. That's right, between the Midwest Mallards and Pacific Predators. Once again, it's going to be a great video, so hope you guys enjoy that. Subscribe in that corner. See the last video from us in that corner. All of our links will be in that description below from merch and tournament signups. See you next time.